Adventure mode does not exist in Path of Exile. However, a great deal of totally sane PoE players are adamant that the addition of this well-loved feature seen in other games like Diablo 4 would greatly enhance the overall Path of Exile experience. Is that really true, fellow exiles? This video defines and presents the strongest arguments for adventure mode while also exploring the cons associated with a content skip progression path of this type. Could grinding gear games ever even consider it? Truly, even if I'm entirely against it, adventure mode is undeniably a desire for a portion of dedicated PoE players, and I'd like to give their viewpoint a chance in the sun, the true sun. Let's dive right in. If you're isolated in the PoE community, you might not be familiar with what I mean by adventure mode. No worries, it's not complicated in the slightest. Essentially, adventure mode is a term borrowed from Path of Exile's longtime rival, Diablo 3. In Diablo 3, players have the option to completely skip the campaign and instead play through adventure mode a path to endgame focused on replayability, as long as they've beat the campaign at least once. The same concept would apply to PoE. Adventure mode in PoE would simply involve the addition of a campaign skip button. This button would appear when you log into PoE, reach the character selection screen, and create a new character. It would be clearly labeled with skip campaign or a similar message, indicating that your character will take a different path towards PoE's endgame. Before we explore what the road would look like in PoE, we need to understand the pros of Adventure Mode in the eyes of its proponents. First and foremost, Adventure Mode would completely open up player agency, allowing players to have nearly complete control over their journey throughout Path of Exile. Many people already claim that the campaign serves as the tutorial for PoE, and it's true. Once you reach the endgame, everything opens up to you, especially with the Atlas passive skill tree. The fact that you can specialize in any content you desire is evidence that the developers trust those who reach maps, providing them with a sense of freedom and a bit of guidance with the epilogue quest lines. Ideally, if a campaign skip feature were to be implemented, players would have the choice to either play through the campaign or take an alternative path to the most enjoyable content in this ARPG. After all, a significant number of PoE players are tired of repeating the same campaign over and over in PoE 1, and this sentiment will likely extend to PoE 2 as well. This brings me to the second point, adventure mode. In the eyes of many, would eliminate the tedium of going through the campaign with every new character in a league. Even aside from veterans who have completed the PoE 1 campaign dozens, if not hundreds of times over the past decade or so, there are avid PoE players who create multiple characters per league and do not enjoy running through the campaign. Even though the campaign lacks cutscenes, unskippable dialogue, constant backtracking, and other issues, it still acts as a barrier to the core gameplay of PoE. These players are simply going through it because they have to, and they would prefer to reach the endgame through a different method. Furthermore, there are many players who would create more than one or two characters per league if they didn't need to play through the campaign and instead opt into an adventure mode. That brings us to the third point in the eyes of proponents, implementing a Adventure mode would undoubtedly result in an increase in the number of characters created in every PoE league. The greatest strength of PoE lies in its character possibilities. With a wide array of items, skills, the passive skill tree, ascendancies, and extensive endgame content, there are numerous ways to improve your character, create new ones, and challenge yourself. By eliminating the grind going through the campaign, clicking through NPC dialogue, completing optional side quests, and defeating Katava in PoE 1, or the Seed of Corruption in PoE 2, we would witness a rise in character counts and the creation of new builds. Number four, as a result of dedicated players creating more and more characters, PoE would remain active for a long of duration in each league. While it's likely that some players wouldn't dedicate all their playtime to a single character and would spread their journey across multiple characters, that doesn't diminish its significance. It would greatly contribute to the in-game activity. More players staying engaged would lead to more characters, which in turn would stimulate trading and overall content. To conclude the pros, some players also strongly dislike the need to play a specific leveling build for the campaign before transitioning to their real build. Moreover, they feel that gear upgrades obtained during the campaign are essentially meaningless and quickly surpassed by items found in maps. Essentially, they dislike this portion of character progression and prefer the path taken once the campaign concludes, as it feels more authentic to them, more meaningful. Undoubtedly, those are the most compelling arguments for why a campaign skip option should be included in a game like Path of Exile. So, how would the developers implement it? Firstly, to access the feature, a player's account would need to have completed either the PoE 1 or PoE 2 campaign at least once. Once this requirement is fulfilled, they would be able to create a new character with Adventure Mode selected. I see two clear options. Option 1 would involve the introduction of infinite dungeons of some kind. Players could choose to level their characters through Delve, progressively venturing deeper and deeper beneath Rayclast, collecting Azurite, conquering nodes, 
and defeating area bosses. This would be accompanied by an update to the Dell content system itself, introducing new nodes related to recent leagues and potentially incorporating additional boss encounters. Give us a glimpse of chaos and an ultimatum node, please. Another possibility could be something akin to Infinite Heist, although it offers a distinct experience compared to the rest of Path of Exile. The developers could also consider reintroducing Endless Ledge or repurposing their previous racing events, such as Descent Champions, by generating randomly diverse dungeons that progressively increase in difficulty and rewards, allowing characters to reach around level 65. Option two would be the freedom to level through the campaign in any order you seek. Every waypoint would be unlocked. You could wander through the areas without completing quests, just slaying monsters and hitting thresholds with extra passive skill points to make up for the lack of quest rewards. Essentially, it's the campaign without the need to grab waypoints, interact with NPCs, or complete quests. That's it. Some people have proposed a complete rework of the mapping system to begin at level one, but I think there's no way that would ever occur. Even if everything just discussed beforehand might have only a 1% chance of being considered. Don't gawk, it just could be true. All right, all right, pros discussed, two possible methods of reasonable implementation explored, Let's take a stab at the cons of Adventure Mode in Path of Exile. This is the camp I personally fall into. The campaign to endgame structure establishes a clear progression path for every character. You begin as a lowly exile washed up on a shore and work your way, essentially, to become a god walking amongst mere mortals. As you gain gems, find items, and complete various quests, you hit clear power thresholds that open up in the amount of potential paths once you hit endgame. If adventure mode is added, that clear sense is gone and everything becomes very freeform. Endgame essentially begins at level one for both an infinite dungeon and open campaign style adventure mode. You're skipping the campaign and therefore skipping a substantial chunk of your character's beginning progression. Yes, you'll reach endgame quicker, instantly really. While some players will likely make more characters due to this, it also might usher in a true and disquieting idea. Players reaching endgame faster and therefore burning out faster too. I know, I know. Many pro campaign skip exiles think this will assuredly lead to less burnout, and for people who create many characters per league, that might be true. But for those who create a few characters per league and play a lot, they might enjoy the current progression path, but will feel as though they'll need to skip the campaign to reach endgame quicker and therefore be more competitive. Plus, this lack of established players rocking the campaign at league start, especially, and beyond less so, will lead to far less lively campaign towns. It might seem silly, but empty towns suck. At League Start, seeing everyone race through and even take their time through the campaign is awesome. It creates a strong sense of community and togetherness. We're all working through this shared experience even if we're running through solo. This would be lost with a campaign skip option, more so if it's the optimal path to endgame. I wouldn't want to see that. It'd remove a huge positive of every League Start. Now, those are the cons from the community perspective. In summary, with a campaign skip or adventure mode option, a clear sense of progression would be lost and it'd likely hurt the overall community. But how about adventure mode from the developer's perspective? When you boil down Path of Exile 2, the largest single piece of content being introduced is the new seven act campaign. Chris Wilson at its helm, Grinding Gear Games is investing monumental resources into developing it. Plus, they're actively trying to make it a more replayable experience. Of course, plenty, if not all of the assets crafted for use in PUE2's campaign will be reused at some point in Path of Exile's endgame, either in maps or a future, current, or past league mechanic. It's one of the major strengths of GGG's development style. However, with this investment in the Path of Exile 2 campaign, they're not going to want to implement a way to slide past all of it. They've acknowledged the PoE1 campaign is a tad too long. Let's say it takes the average player an hour per act right now. So 10 hours. I'd anticipate PoE2's campaign will be between 7 and 8 hours for the average every league PoE player. Plus, they're attempting to spice up the campaign in more than just the visuals and base game mechanics. In Path of Exile 2, every run through the campaign should be unique, as the world map itself will change with every playthrough. Alongside the improved random area generation, wide variety of new monsters, and ever-present league mechanics, this should add to the variety and decrease the repetitiveness of the campaign. They've also done a great job of designing the campaign as a constantly forward-moving narrative. There's already minimal interaction with NPCs, everything is skippable, and the quests keep you progressing. You're not backtracking. You're not sitting still. Truly, the longest point of stationary movement is the spawning of the Val Oversoul in Act 2. For the most part, that's excellent design. So, will they add a campaign skip option or an adventure mode in PoE 1 or Path of Exile 2? Probably not. The developers and a huge swath of the community see the campaign as a necessity in the game. It adds a clear sense of character progression for players. 
It provides a sense of community at league start and throughout the rest of the league for latecomers and new players. It's already designed very well, especially compared to competitors, leading to no true need for an alternative leveling option. As much as some people would like to instantly skip to level 65 and begin the real game, there's an extremely low chance of that ever happening. Grinding Gear Games is focusing on crafting the best campaign possible instead of making an alternative, and then innovating on the ARPG endgame like no one else in the space. Some people might just be seriously burned out on Path of Exile 1's campaign. When Path of Exile 2 hits with a new campaign, hopefully it will address many of the issues these players have with the current path to the epilogue. If it doesn't, my apologies. If you're playing Path of Exile, the campaign is likely going to be the only trail to the deepest ARPG endgame around. If you enjoy this video, consider watching the videos currently displayed on the screen. Every minute you watch contributes to the growth of the channel. I would also like to extend my sincerest thanks to my current channel members and patrons. Thank you for your support. Tala Moana.